Olivia is very happy and she's very smart. She's almost always singing and dancing, always full of life and happy. And just never let anything get her down. She's so brave. She's very sweet and outgoing. <laughs> she is a fantastic little girl. Her spirit is just so strong. My name is Olivia and this is my story. When she was first born, we didn't know what was wrong. It wasn't until she was life flighted up to Valley Children's, she was um, three days old, that we found out that she was diagnosed with Antley Bixler syndrome. Well, Olivia was born with a lot of orthopedic problems, including cranial synostosis. She also has scoliosis and kyphosis. And because of her small upper jaw, she required a tracheostomy to help her breathe and a G-tube to help her eat. So she's had a lot of challenges since birth. Olivia has a tracheostomy and we provide a lot of suctioning throughout the day. I'm really assessing whenever she has that need. Olivia takes a number of medications at home for visual health and just her overall health. Um, some of those things play in a big factor when she's ill or she's recovering from getting ill. I've always known that I'll be coming back and helping her face grow and to pull that upper jaw forward so she can breathe and have a more normal appearance. The 3D modeling really helps us to visualize and predict the type of outcome that we will end up with and it allows us to use a distractor that goes on the inside of the skin instead of a large halo bolted to the head. She's so brave and if I could do it for her, I would. She's always got a, a, a great outlook on everything and everything's, you know, going to be okay. She's like, it's going to be okay. I'm a superhero. I can fight off what makes me scared in, in enough time for the surgery. The surgery itself went very smoothly since everything was pre-planned using virtual surgery planning. So we had Olivia's model. We know exactly um, where we had to make our bone cuts. We know exactly where the distractor was going to go. And I was very pleased with how stable she was throughout the surgery. Before, she used to have adults and kids stare at her and they would look at her and, you know, because she did look a lot different. And now kids aren't quite as afraid to go up to play with her anymore. It's been nice because she was noticing too that she looked different. She still has so many friends. They all recognize her still. They know it's Olivia. Being able to face the world with confidence is so important in everybody's life. And I just feel incredibly privileged to be able to offer this procedure and be able to have the trust of family placed in me to do the procedure for Olivia. Her health has gotten better. It's actually helped her eye pressure. We've been able to back off on some of the medication. And when she sleeps at night, her eyes close all the way and no more headaches, so that's good. She's able to open her mouth now, which is amazing because she wasn't able to open her mouth very much. The doctors here are amazing. They've all been really great. They're very kind and caring and, and they really want what's best for Olivia. Ultimately, I have more plan for her. When she has all her adult teeth in place, I'll do another adjustment and finish her jaw bite so she can have um, normal dental alignment. So Olivia and I are not done yet. We still got some more work to do. She is happy and energetic and she's got personality for days. She just lights up a room.